Hello everybody, welcome back to SnowRunner once again. We are checking out two amazing mods, one being a vehicle mod and one being a map mod. This is the 2021 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. This is by Iceberg 101 and the DND, I think is the name of the modding group that does this, but I'm telling you what, this thing is absolutely incredible. We're gonna go ahead and just fire it up and get driving uh, and check out this map. This map is a uh, Red Canyon map and basically, uh, it's given us a little taste of the Southwest. Here is the interior of the Tacoma, and there is a big missing piece right there in the middle. Uh, it's supposed to be a backup camera, but it's just showing you basically what's in front of you. But the interior's done really, really well. Not too shabby. Let's get started here on this map. And I want to see, we pretty much have a bone stock version of this truck. The only thing I did was put some off-road lights on this thing and we're going to see how far we can get in this map without having to upgrade the truck. We will upgrade the truck later on for sure, but we're gonna explore this map a little bit. I just love the look of the Southwest region here and it looks very nice, very nice indeed. We haven't even had to use any all wheel drive yet. Well, happy Saturday to all of you. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you all so much for the kind words over the last couple of videos. You really enjoyed those. And I enjoyed making them, trust me. Getting in a big group of friends and just being idiots is, you know, one of my favorite things of all time. That is for certain. Everything with me has been good though. Like I, I told you before, uh, I got back from St. Louis. Uh, I will be venturing out a little bit this weekend. I'm gonna go to the Grand Prix in St. Petersburg, which is just uh, south of Tampa. So it's really close by. I uh, got general admission, gonna walk around. So let me know if you're gonna be there. It'd be cool to run into some of you guys if uh, you plan on going. And since it's an IndyCar street course, oh, we're starting to already see the effects of this truck not getting it done. If, uh, you know, if you're gonna be there, you already know it's, it's a street course. You're not gonna see a whole lot of action unless you're in the bleachers. I'm not gonna be in the bleachers. I'm just gonna kind of mosey around and just check things out. It'll be good to get out of the house, you know? Staying safe, of course, but it's 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 time for all of us to start getting out of the house a little bit more. All right. We have something up here. We're going to check this out. I don't know what it is. Jaman, dude, get this. I just saw a YouTube docu. Did you know 5,000 years ago when Jesus rode dinosaurs into battle, he defeated the Anunnaki? They tried to destroy the earth. What do you know? You never stop learning. Internet, man. What would you do without it? By the way. I don't know why, but I give you 5,000 bucks if you take this letter back to town for me. Oh, and did I tell you that was I, that I was abducted by aliens the other day? They inserted, hey, where are you going? We will start tracking. There we go. Drop the package off uh, back in town, wherever that is located. It is going to be on the map. Oh, it's literally right back there where we just came from. Okay, well, let's go ahead. We have all-wheel drive on now. Let's get some speed up in this bad boy. Oh, it is super bouncy in here. Look at this. <laughs> Wow, yeah. I gotta give it to him though. That, you know, if you want a fair and balanced gameplay when it comes to SnowRunner, and you like to get mods in your game, this is a very balanced truck. Like it's, it doesn't seem like it's OP at all. So that's a really good thing to see. I'm sure we can OP it a little bit and we're gonna try, but that's good to see. I like it. We're gonna finish this mission right here. Very, very easy for Jaman. Yep. That was easy enough, 5,000 bucks as promised. All right, let's go over here to the garage and see what we can do to this thing. Customization, customization. We have engine options here. I did already purchase this just a second ago um, because I think I'm gonna go with that one. V8 upgraded, of course. Uh, we want, well, no, actually, you know what? Let's go with the, the Pro. What is the difference there? Yeah, let's go with the Pro. I mean, let's OP it a little bit. Gearbox options, you have a crawler with manual low gear. You have TRD Highway, Pro Fine-Tuned Off-Road, Pro Non-Fine-Tuned Off-Road. And, and I love that they have little descriptions here that explain everything about that. We're going to go with the Pro Crawler just because we're probably going to need it on this map at some point. You do have options for suspension. You have a RCLT HD. You have a Fox Balance suspension set, uh, towing suspension, and lifted right there. And look at that camber there on the front with the lifted. That looks pretty cool. We're going to keep it... Kind of, uh, kind of stockish for now. I don't, we can, we can raise it. Let's go ahead and raise it. Why not? Tire options are amazing on this mod. We have 38 inch Wranglers, 40s. 
We got off-road, you have uh, the Bajas, and then you have the non-pneumatic tires as well as options, which are absolutely cool. And then mud tire options here. And then chained if you want to go snowing and even has the Wrangler studded here at the bottom, which gives it that stock look. But look at all the options as far as tires and wheels go. And it looks really, really good. I think we're going to go with some Bajas on this bad boy, though. Let's go with the 40 inch Baja tires winch on this thing. We have uh, autonomous scout extended already on there. Diff lock is engageable snorkel. We'll get that on there. And then frame add ons. You have a spare Baja tire in the back. You can change that out and you can even put some other little things back here. I put this, you know, that whole bar back there. I think they'll let me put this in there as a separate, but I, I don't have it unlocked yet. So that's not even a problem for us. Rear bumper options, just only one. You have the front here. Uh, you have the side steps. You have a couple of options there and then a scout trailer hitch as well. Let's just go with the side steps. I like the look of that much better. TRD default bumper here in the front, but we're going to put the off-road bumper on it. Oh, yeah. Has that off-road light on it. Dude, this thing looks so good. And the rims are a pro steel wheel. Yes, I'm fine with that. Color options. You have a bunch here. I love the white. It just looks good on this thing. There you go. That's going to be what we're going to roll with. I mean, you can, you know, throw some little bobbleheads or accessories in here if you want to. We're not going to worry about any of that stuff. Let's see just how OP this thing is. I don't think it's going to be OP. It doesn't seem like it from the get go here. And there's a road over here we're going to take to get out of this area. And we'll probably going to have to start using all wheel drive and possibly our diff lock too. I love the look of these things, man. Look at this truck. That is a thing of beauty right there. Absolutely gorgeous. I've always loved the look of these Tacomas. Now, I'm not a person that cares so much. I'm not brand loyal, I'll say that. I own a 2017 Ram in real life, but I did look at all the different truck options. I chose the Ram because I like the interior and the look of the truck. It just worked for me. You know, it's not for everybody. Let's turn some all-wheel drive on, man. This thing is absolutely chewing up the... The road with these Baja tires. I'm liking this a lot. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It needs diff lock. Look at that. Well, it's doing it without it. But look at this transmission, man. Look at all the options for it. We can go higher if we want. We can go down into like super crawler mode right there. And you can just barely give it gas. And she just crawls right across all that mud. That looks like mud. Is it sinking down? I don't know. It's, oh, it is on the right there. I saw it move just a little bit all right back to low all right let's turn that diff lock on i'm sure that's going to help us out a lot here Ooh, this is getting more difficult whoa back it up buddy we go in that trench on the right that's bad news bears for everybody we'll go around this way there we go but yeah i'm not brand loyal i'm not even brand loyal with my motorcycle like i chose the motorcycle i did because i liked it you know i test rode it and i was like that's the one i want Okay, well, this is proven to be a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be, this road. That's good. I like a good challenge. Bravo on this map, though. I mean, I'm going to have it linked and everything, but man, did they do a good job on this thing. All right, let's back up, buddy. You do not want to go in that trench right there. That is not going to happen at all. You go in that trench, you're going to have to use the winch. Back it up. Oh, we are already in a kind of a bind here. Um, let's go this way. Barely give a gas there, Jeff. There you go. Just barely give it back. Back and forth on the wheel. Oh, we might need mud tires to do this. This is just a travesty right now. Oh, it's doing it, though. I mean, Baja tires aren't mud tires, you know? They're off-road tires. Although it's doing it, it's not doing it very gracefully. And there's a big, huge rock there in our way. Yeah, we're not very far. Let's go put some mud tires on this thing. I was not expecting this. All right, off-road. It was fun and all, but let's do some serious mud tire options here. We'll go with that. That should help out a lot. She's already got a much, much bigger pep in her step right now with these mud tires on. Just chewing up the road. No problem with all-wheel drive. I'm liking this a lot better, and it's got a lot more grip. That's for certain. And down into the trench of hell we go. Let's see how this goes here. Definitely going to turn that diff lock on. We know we're going to need... Yeah, we're going to need that and that. We got to put you in low first. There we go. There we go. Just like that. Don't worry about that rock. We'll just go right over that. No problem. 
yeah, it's a very technical course. You just see, like, it's completely washed out on one side. And you have to make a decision on which way you want to put your tires. Well, I'm going to go left on this one. But you don't want it to roll over. That's the problem. Like this. And then to the right, maybe. Yep, that's, that's working. It's this one that got us last time. We went left, and that was a bad choice. Let's go to the right and to the left. Try to work this ditch a little better there. There we go. And then this is the one that got us right here. You can even see where we were. We'll go to the right of it and then to the left. Yeah, that's really deep mud. And that's just a matter of mud tires. There you go. Get up on there just like that. Perfect. Keep walking it back and forth like that. <laughs> She's doing it now. It was all in the change of those tires, man. Look at that. We did it. We did that together. You and I. Here we are. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you roll it. Oh, that is so... Dude, look at how deep these trenches are. I mean, I would feel so bad doing this through a real truck in real life. That'd be rough. Let's just give her hell right now and just kind of get out of it with the tires. I need to go to the right, dig into it. Come on, baby, go! Well, we got ourselves sideways here using the diff lock. I'm still trying to use some winch options here, but the winch does nothing. It does nothing in this truck. All right, come on, crawl out this way. Let's put this thing in reverse and try to back out. I don't know if that's going to work, but... Oh, dude, this thing's got a mean reverse in it. Whoa! Okay. Well, that got us out of that pickle. No problem. Back into low, all the way up. Turn that diff on. We're going to need it. Holy cow, I think we got out of that. Oh, and there's a huge rock there. I think that's, that's probably what we were hitting there. Come on to the right. And we made it to Flatland, finally. Wow! I see a road over here to the right. I do see a road. Finally. Actually, it's right in front of us here. This thing kind of goes all the way around, it looks like. We're going to go to the right. That's what we're going to do here. Watch out, buddy. Get into your gas there. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought this thing would be a little bit more capable than it is, but I mean, this is a pretty tough terrain. So this trail goes all the way around in a big, huge horseshoe shape, but we can't go anywhere else. I mean, we know what the terrain's like. We don't, you know, we get off the trail itself. And this trail has not been a walk in the park. I'll give you that. We're going to go down here, make a left, and take this little trail down onto that bridge. That's what we're going to do. You see the sun's going down. Absolutely amazing looking on this map. And to the left we go. We made it. Wow. And this is a much better trail than what we were on before. We got cool windmills. And look at this. There's a huge canyon here and river that runs through it. Oh, this looks like it could get a little scary. We talked a little too early on uh, the fact of it being... Wow, dude. That looks like the, the Grand Canyon down there. <laughs> I mean, not that crazy, but still. Oh, it's getting sketchy over here. Look at, we got rocks that have fallen down and then a huge cliff to our death on the left. And the sun is going down as well. There's the bridge up there. I can see it finally. But what a neat, neat place. Coming upon the bridge. I can see it right up ahead. I don't know if the bridge is going to be out though. That's the real question here. Oh man, this is super steep right here. And we're going to go over this big, huge hill, too. Oh, careful. Oh, you could just get washed away just straight down there. Oh, here's the... Oh, and of course, it's not going to be easy. Oh, this looks sketchy as hell. All right, go easy here, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. This could end up very bad for us. Keep it between the lines. Oh, my God. Our wheelbase was just wide enough for that. Holy moly. And that doesn't look any better. That's well, okay. You can't do you can't do anything with that. That's okay. That, that's why we go around this way. So we have something here. Let's see what this is. What could this be? It's a task. It's called maybe useful later on. Think about it. Twenty thousand oh, probably talking about building that bridge. Okay. Yep, four wooden planks. Oh, that's cool. Well, I'm not going to do it now, but because we're still just kind of exploring the map. I think this is the best freeware map I've seen. Some of them just does, you know, they don't look like anything else. The ones that I've seen, you know, I'm sure there's good ones out there. 
But this one actually looks like a region that they would have created. What I mean is it looks like a region that they would have created, like the original developers of SnowRunner. Like this could be a DLC map, easy. And everybody would be like, this is awesome because it is. We have a huge concrete thing here. Okay, here's another bridge. You have to build the bridge to get across that way. Okay, that makes more sense. As you know, contracts. But this road kind of wraps all the way around, it looks like. All the way down here is a little town there and stuff. So, wow, very cool. Here's the map. So, the map is by Action Jackson. Support by Dexter Paris Industries. Rocks by JTBRT. So, huge, huge, huge accolades to them for the Red Canyon map. This thing is awesome. I know I've been saying it too many times in this video, but it's just true. It's just that damn good. All right, we have to see what pitch dark looks like out here. I'm sure it's scary. Yep, a little spooky out here at night with all of our off-road lights on. It helps a bunch. We can see really, really well, but man, you could just fall off down to there to your death. I'm sure it might happen before too long here. We're gonna misjudge something here at night. Or we could just, you know, absolutely drive straight off the side of it like a bunch of idiots. And by magic, we have the sun again. And it looks glorious. How about that? I'm just trying to get over here to this little town and look at this, there's a there's music playing and there's a truck that's like destroyed down there with a trailer. Wow, dude. So that looks like a mission to get that thing out of there. That's awesome. We are coasting on fumes because I was an idiot and I forgot to put a fuel canister in the back of this thing. Oh, dude, this road is getting crazy now. I just want to get over to that building over there on the left, but I don't think they're going to let us. I think that it's across the way. And this road is starting to get even worse as far as how washed out it is. And they have some concrete slabs up here that we can drive on which is going to help out a little bit but I want to get over to that big red building over there there's got to be a fuel station around here somewhere well I checked there is no fuel station on this map so you will have to get a huge fuel truck to take out into the field with you when you are operating out here on this map which is cool it brings a different challenge and you know there's other maps default in the game that do that so it's not unheard of. We're going to drive until this thing runs out of fuel, which I think it's about to do soon. So let's just do what everybody wants to do here and just absolutely eat this thing off the side of a cliff. Here we go. Woo oh, that's going to be bad. Oh, and it's stuck. What? I was not expecting that. We are a monolith right now. There's all the oil floating into the river. Beautiful. Well, that is rolling. It's over. Come on. It's firing back up. Come on, baby. I don't know how we got stuck. It's like the back end got stuck in the mud and into the water we go. <laughs> oh, poor Toyota Tacoma TRD. It's done, dude. It is done. We can recover. Well, there you go. That's going to do it for this episode of SnowRunner. That's Red Canyon. I'll have it linked in the description below. You can just find it. It's on the first couple pages of the SnowRunner mod.io. Or you can go into the mod manager in the actual game and you'll find it there as well. So very cool map. Big, big, big uh, hats off to these guys right here for doing this. It's, it's cool. I'm definitely going to be playing this probably on a stream or something. If you guys don't know, I do stream over at twitch.tv jfabiano every single Tuesday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends. I may even stream tonight. I don't know. But anywho, that'll do it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available if you check out the link in the description below. And uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.